Hey YouTube, this is Rob from SixStringJunkie.com and today I want to do a video uh, showing off my guitar collection and the reason why I wanted to do this video is that I've seen other people do them. I think they're really interesting. I love it uh, when other people show off their collections. Um, it's really interesting to see how some people have very eclectic collections. Some people um, collect only Les Paul. Some people are really into Strats. Some people uh, may only collect Ibanez Jackson, that type of thing. So. Without further ado, this is the first guitar. It's a six month old purchase. Um, it's a Jackson Dinky JS. It um, is a guitar that I bought really as a project guitar. Um, I, what I did was I actually replaced the bridge pickup. I threw in a Duncan. I forget which one it is. Um, I think it might be a, I want to say a custom five, but I'll put it in the description. I just forget which model. Made a huge difference. Um, the, the stock pickups are okay. The neck pickup I left alone because it's actually pretty good. It's very clear and um, I don't think there's any need to change it. The bridge pickup made a huge difference. I also bought a, for like 10 bucks, I bought a trem blocker and now it, uh, it's pushed down only, but it's extremely stable. It doesn't go out of tune. Um, great guitar. I think they're, I'll do a separate review of this guitar, but I think they're just about the best on the market for the money. Um, second guitar here uh, is uh, about two months old. It's an Ibanez RG 652. I did a, an opening a video for this one and it's uh, Australian Blackwood top. They call it Koa, but it really is Australian Blackwood. Very similar. I think it might be a similar species. Great guitar. Um, it's my first uh, Made in Japan Prestige Ibanez. Very thin neck, which takes some getting used to because I'm used to um, guitars with, you know, less Pauls, that type of thing. But it's a really comfortable neck after a while. You just kind of have to get used to it. Um, very playable. Uh, DiMarzio pickups. Just, you know, it's a Prestige Ibanez. I mean, it's just, they're great guitars. Next guitar I purchased uh, as part of sort of a, a collection here. Um, it's an OLP, which is obviously a, it's a used guitar. It's a copy of an Ernie Ball Axis. Great guitar. Um, I did a review and a comparison of these two guitars, the OLP and the Axis. Uh, it's a great guitar as far as just the fit and finish. Um, it's a great purple top. It's a, a I believe it's a, a photo uh, flame top, but it looks real. Um, it sounds amazing. Again, pr I think I said this in my other video, but probably the best import pickups I've ever played. Um, just for the money, you can't beat these. Um, next guitar, obviously, is my USA Ernie Ball Music Band Axis. Um, great guitar. Um, probably my number two go-to guitar. Next guitar is a used, obviously, here, uh, 2000 PV Wolfgang. Uh, kind of a hard guitar to find. It's um, flat top, um, and it's an emerald green, kind of a hard color to find. I, it's just a great guitar. Um, a little bit of a different feel than the Axis, a slightly wider neck. Um, I think it's also a flatter radius. I think the Axis is 10 inch. I believe these are, if I'm not mistaken, I think they're 15 or 16 inch radius, but very comfortable. Just a preference thing, very comfortable, great guitar, great pickups. Uh, it's too bad that PV doesn't make any guitars like this anymore. Um, next guitar. Charvel SoCal. I bought these when I got this one when, when they first came out. Uh, I can't recall the year. I, don't, I think it might have been 2007, 2008. Um, USA made great guitar, black DiMarzio pickups, just, you know, D tuner. Um, phenomenal guitar. Um, probably my number three go to guitar in my collection. Next guitar, actually, I picked this up about six months ago as well. It's a GNL Tribute Legacy. Um, you know, probably I've had USA Strats in the past. This is actually my favorite Strat type guitar. Great for blues rock if you're into Stevie Ray Vaughan or Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Um, they're just great guitars. Um, I highly recommend them, and they're really affordable. Just and I think that matters. Okay, I'm gonna step over here. So, next guitar is my Epiphone slash uh, 2007 Standard Plus top uh, mahogany body. Um, you know, uh, it's a flame maple top. I think it's a veneer, but it's, it sounds great. It actually has two Duncan Alnico twos, which is what Slash was playing for the longest time. Great guitar. Um, you know, sounds like a Les Paul, plays like one. Um, it's probably the closest I've ever heard any guitar to his actual tone. If you're going through a Marshall, um, it sounds like Slash. Even I can sound like Slash, which is amazing. 
Um, next guitar here is um, my PRS SE245 Sunburst. They made these for a couple of years. Um, just really great guitars. Um, I think it's a little bit after when they started making single cuts again after the lawsuit. Absolutely phenomenal guitar. Um, you know, I, the great pickups, probably the some of the best um, Les Paul type pickups I've ever heard. Uh, really very thick neck, uh, but not too thick where it's uncomfortable. Just all around great guitar. Um, you know, nothing else I can say about that. This is probably my number one go-to guitar. Um, it's a, I believe it's a 2007 Les Paul VOS plain top, um, 1960. Um, absolutely phenomenal. Um, now it's not a super figure top, but I mean, actually it does have a lot of figuring in it um, for a plain top, and, but it's a very heavy guitar. I don't know the weight, but it's just, you know, it plays like butter, absolutely amazing. I've had other people play it, and I've had other people tell me who are Les Paul owners that it's probably one of the best Les Pauls they've ever played. Um, just, I don't know, it has a certain, sometimes Les Pauls have a certain magic, and this is just one of them. Um, just my number one guitar. Next over here, my acoustics. Um, this is a Martin, about a year old, my Martin OMC PA4 um, orchestra model. Um, great guitar, great uh, electronics sounds great through uh, an acoustic amp, or you know, or uh, on amplified. Just a great guitar, very comfortable. Smaller body, great guitar. Again, an another smaller body guitar. My Taylor uh, 712 CE. Um, it just my, probably my favorite acoustic. Um, I, great sunburst color, um, and I hope I can do it justice here. Um, great electronics. Um, you know, rosewood. Uh, sides and back, um, just, you know, uh, spruce top, great sounding guitar. And the last guitar in the collection is, I, th I believe it's also a 2007 or 2008 I bought it. It's actually, um, it was exclusive to Musician's Friend. It's a, an, a Martin D14 body, um, and it's a uh, custom shop uh, model, and it has an Adirondack spruce top. Uh, Absolutely amazing guitar, uh, Dreadnought, obviously. Um, it has a huge sound. It, it also is electronic. Uh, it has electronics built in. It's acoustic electric. Um, not the best um, sound, maybe amplified, but uh, just, you know, acoustically, it's probably just one of the best acoustics I've ever heard. Um, very loud, very punchy, lots of lows, but also uh, it's balanced well with highs. Just a very comfortable guitar. And that's, that's about it. I just want to do a quick video showing my collection. Uh, again, I love these types of videos. Here's the whole thing just in one shot if I can try to get it. Um, anyway, I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to see your videos. And thank you for watching.